Hey UMBC, it's Kat and I'm back with some more brand new videos for your spring 2022 semester on our UMBC Rec TV YouTube channel. Um, so today's workout, we're going to do cardio kickboxing. It's going to be more express because it's going to be under 30 minutes and we're going to do a mix of both cardio, strength, and core training all in it. So you get a great full body workout in a short amount of time. What you're going to need today, good pair of sneakers, make sure your Laces, um, you can double tie them so you don't have to pause during the workout. A nice clear space that you're not going to run into anything, wherever that is for you. A set of weights, whatever you have, whether it's hand weights, soup cans, backpacks, books, anything that'll add a little bit of something to it. If you don't, you can definitely do it body weight. And then some water. Please take hydration breaks whenever you need them. And as always, consult with your doctor, your primary care physician, just to make sure that any workout is right for you. Listen to your body. Take breaks when you need to. Hit pause when you need to. This video is also going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to have any music in the background. It's really going to give you guys a chance to actually pick what you want to listen to. Um, really anything. You like rap, you like hip-hop, you like pop music, you like rock music. Hit your Spotify playlist, press play, let's get it started. So for our warm up, meet me nice and tall, standing, shake yourself out, nice deep breath, exhale it out, and let's start with some shoulder rolls. So roll your shoulders back, opening up your chest. We're gonna do um, kind of every body part for about like 30 seconds for our warm up, kind of working down head to toe. And then switch sides, kind of reversing direction, not really switching sides. I feel like I'm a little rusty with my lingo, not having recorded for a little bit. Step side to side. I actually uh, was pregnant and had a baby last year. So these are kind of my first videos back into it for you guys. I definitely missed you guys. I hope you guys have had a great last few months. Now we're gonna get back into it. Hitting these videos whenever you need a little something. All right, hands up, knees come up. I have a little timer off screen. If you see me kind of looking down, I can kind of tell when 30 seconds is without you guys having to hear any kind of beep. So it doesn't interrupt your, your playlist, your games, whatever you're listening to. You can kind of type it in the comments. Let me know what you like to work out to. Or maybe you like to work out in silence. I don't know. That's not me. <laughs> Give me some heel kicks. So you're bringing your heel into your glutes, warm up the hamstrings, back of the thigh. You kind of just kind of add these arms in here. Adds a little bit more upper body, just getting the blood flowing as we warm up these muscle groups. In the nose, out the mouth. All right, we're going to do little kicks to the front. So this is, again, taking to the hamstrings, the quads, and the core. Now we're going to add in the arms. Opposite arm is going to punch very gently, just kind of getting opposite arm, opposite foot, turning your brain on here and warming up your balance. All right, jumping jacks option. You can be here or you can be here. Think balls of the feet. jump at all during this workout. Feet under hips, toes forward, hips forward, chest up, body weight squats. Sink and lift. Weight into those heels. Exhale. Chest up, 
Beautiful. Side lunge, sink it over. Weight into that heel, stretching out that inner thigh. Slide it. So warm it up through those inner thighs and our outer thighs. Transferring weight, heel to heel. And you can even get a little lower if you like. If you can't touch the floor though, don't force it. You'll get there. You'll get there. All right, last little bit. Just some jump rope. Glide on the balls of those feet if you need. Balls of your feet. Taking those arms, twirling your rope. You got it. Smile on your face, even though I can't see you. Your attitude definitely affects your workout. Four, three, two, one. All right, sip of water if you need. I want you to grab your weights. I am starting off with fives. I'm gonna use fives this whole workout. Like I said, I just had a baby a few months ago, so I'm slowly getting back into working out. If that is you, do the same, no matter what. Take it slow to start. Shoulders back, bicep curl, standard grip, rotate, hammer grip. Standard grip, palms toward me, palms toward each other. Palms toward me palms toward each other. So we're working our biceps here. And a lot of times your biceps, your arms are a lot stronger than you think when you lug your groceries and your backpacks. So please feel free to go a little lighter or a little heavier. All right, weights down. Shake it out, shake it out. A little run in place. Prep for our cardio kickboxing movement here. Heart rate coming up. All right, get your legs nice and wide. Guard up, make two fists, thumbs on the outside. You're gonna punch down to the ground, rotating and turning those hips. So turn the hip, punch it down. Lifting the heel pivoting on the ball of the foot. You're pretending your opponent is on the ground and you're punching the mess out of them. If you want to, you can even add a little something, something. Four, three, two, one. March out. Upper body. Grab those weights again. This is going to be shoulders, so you might need to go a little lighter. That is okay. Do you, boo. Now, just like biceps, we did a front and a hammer. Shoulders, palms are gonna be down. Frontal raise, hammer, frontal raise. Feet under hips, go. Frontal raise, palms down. Frontal raise, hammer grip. Weights come about shoulder height. This is where it helps if you have a mirror. You can definitely see your form. Otherwise, just look down. You can probably kind of gauge where that is. Let's do one from the hammer. All right, weights down, squat, set them down. Little run in place. Breathe in the nose, up the mouth. Box movement, upper body, legs wide. You're gonna punch up to the ceiling, up to the ceiling, front and front. Let's go. Up, up, front, jab, center. Punch up, punch up, jab, center, jab, center. Now notice, I'm saying upper body, right? We're throwing these punches. But do you feel your core firing up as you have to pivot on the balls of those feet? Rotating so you really power through the floor to your legs, to your core, to your arms. For four, three, two, one. If 
if you need water, get it. I'm gonna take a little sip here. We're gonna take it down to the floor for some cord here. So make your way down. Plank position on your forearms. So it'll kind of save your wrist a little bit here. I'm gonna face this way for the clock. Shoulders over your elbows, shoulders down and back, legs long. Squeeze your glutes. Hold your plank right here. If you need, you're on your knees. Chin is pulled back. And you can drop between your knees or straight legs at any point. You can even try one knee down and then switch it to balance it off, the other knee down, whatever you gotta do. Give me four, three, two, one, knee down. Woo, bring yourself up into that run. Run it out. A little quick run, a little quick run. All right, how we doing, how we doing? Okay, we're gonna fire up that core a little bit more. Legs wide. Uppercuts, uppercuts you go under the chin, pivot that hip to right, to left, two, and left. Breathing in, exhaling out. Uppercuts are my favorite punch because you can just feel so incredibly powerful doing these. How powerful do you feel right now? Come on. Give me that mean mug face. Last two, last one. Run it out. Little run. Little run, little run, little run. We're going back to the floor. Little run back this way. <laughs> Walk yourself out to a plank. This time high plank. So high plank basically means you're on your hands. You can still be on your knees for a high plank. Perfectly fine. We're gonna do mountain climbers. So knees either in this way or knees in this way. Pick your poison, let's go. Key point, shoulders are over your wrist. So that means you don't look like this. Shoulders over wrist. Locking it in. Opposite knee, opposite elbow. Breathe and breathe. You got six more seconds. Three, two, one. Little stretch, sit back. All right, pop yourself up however you need. I'm gonna walk back and up. Little run. Okay, hooks sides of the face, the temples, palm and forearm parallel to the floor. You go right and left, rotating in that hip still. Exhaling on every punch. Inhale, exhale. You're gonna feel your core tighten up. You truly are gonna feel your power coming from the earth into your body, into your fist. Give me four, three, two, one. Run it out, little run. And if you don't wanna do this little run, you do a little walk, okay? Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. All right, grab your weights. Squat down, grab, tighten your ponytail, push your hand back. We're gonna do a little balance work. Balance on your right foot, knee a little soft and bent, shoulders back, hand yourself forward. These weights are coming to about past your knee, mid chin. Pick yourself up. Now we're gonna do this one for about a minute because it takes a little bit longer in this with your balance. And I'd rather you try your best slowly instead of trying to rush through it. So think about all four corners of your foot 
are pushed evenly into the earth. You are sinking back, trying to touch your butt and your hips to the wall behind you. Pushing through your heel and your foot as you pick yourself back up. You've got about 10 more seconds. So maybe you'll get one or two out. We'll go for one more. Squat down, set the weights down, shake the foot out, a little bit of balance there, rotate. Great job. All right, let's get a little burpee in here. If you don't want to do the burpee, you're going to squat and tap back each foot, otherwise come to the floor. In three, two, one. So burpee, either squat and tap back, each foot or squat, shoot your legs back, jump in and up. Squat, tap or shoot, in, up. Squat, tap or shoot, in, up. And you can alternate between the two movements. One more, whatever you got. And up. All right, little run. Run out, run out. We've got to do that other leg down for balance. So grab those weights. Try to grab the same weights so that you're working each leg evenly here. Foot down. Shoulders back. Chin off the chest. Take it down nice and slow. It's your own pace, remember. All four corners of that foot are grounded at, into the floor. You can let me know if this is your better leg. Ah, this is a leg I gotta work on a lot more. Ooh, what's funny for me at least, ooh, is this is my right leg. Even though I'm right-handed, my right leg is not my stronger leg. It's my left leg. And for you guys, if you're mirroring me at home, this is your left leg. Ooh. Oh, Ooh. All right, let's try to get at least maybe two more out. Two more out in this minute of work. All right, one more, hips nice and level. Oh, ham strings. Ooh, push it up, okay. Weights down. Balance, so important, so important in your entire life. Because guess what? You're always balancing when you're walking side to side, just like that. A little run, if you want to run faster than me, feel free. You can run from one side of your house to the other. <laughs> Legs wide. All right, jabs and crosses. Jab center, cross, cross. Jab center toward the nose, cross corners of the room. So I'm saying center, center, corner, corners. What you are aiming for, your opponent's nose down the center and about their cheek or mouth when it comes to the corners. You can get low, you can stay a little higher. Four, three, two, one. Little run. We're gonna take it back to the floor. These runs are just a way for us to keep our heart rate up as we transition between moves. Let's take it to the floor right here. All right, come down onto your back. Hands behind your head, knees up over the hips, back down into the mat. We're gonna do bicycles. So opposite shoulder, opposite thigh. Now, depending on your level, maybe you're able to keep it up nice and high, and you can stay here. Or you could also really regress it to a more basic by keeping your foot down and crossing with that little work. This is what I need right now. I'm still rehabbing my core, so I'm gonna be right here. 
Give me one more. All right, grab your knees, roll yourself up. We're gonna stay on the floor for this next one. So side plank, shoulder over elbow. Yeah, shoulder over elbow, oh my goodness. Hip stacked, and on top hip, lift yourself up. So you wanna think about both hips are level, facing toward me, shoulder is down, and if you find yourself kind of leaning forward, bring that bottom hip a little more towards me and your screen. This is option one, option two, straighten both legs. You can even hold your hand up if that helps you open your chest a little bit more. Strengthening your entire right side of your body, shoulder, hip, core, outer thigh. Four, three, two, one, down. Spin it. Other side. Shoulder, elbow, body bent. Get stacked and pick yourself up. Arm up, or hand on hip. Same thing, if you find yourself leaning forward, pull out from that bottom hip, and have that option, straighten that leg. Head nice and in line. Give me six, we'll shake five, four, three, two, one. Down, all the way up. Take a water if you need. Come to stand in. We're gonna do a fun little combo. Knee, cross, all right? Get yourself ready in four, three, two, one. Knee, cross, knee, knee and cross. Knee, cross, knee up. If you want a little more, pop it across, pop it, pop across. to pop it cross a little air or not Hop. out three two one march out breathe beautiful job movement. Let's make a weights here, especially after that nice cardio burst. So combination, hammer, hammer. Got it? Feet under hips, hammer bicep, hammer shoulder, hammer bicep, hammer shoulder. Getting our last little bit of strength from these arms between our punches and our plank movements there. You're gonna feel your core totally fired up here. Trying to keep you nice and straight. Last one each way. Weights down. And just for the heck of it, we'll run. 
we're gonna take this run into our cool down. And then you ladies and gents are gonna call it a day. In the nose, out the mouth. I hope you guys feel as good as I do right now. It's always fun to move your body. March out. No matter whether you take lower impact or higher impact options, just move. Light weights, heavy weights, it doesn't matter. All that matters is that you are getting some kind of movement in in your day. Strengthen your heart, strengthen your lungs, improve your mood, open up nice and wide. Love your body and all it does for you. Feel my heart beating with my arm across my chest like this. Get my heart nice and strong. So it can pump. Keep you moving. Check it out. Grab your um, top of your right foot. If you need to hold something, you can. Uh, if not, <laughs> you can surprise yourself and balance. Heel into your butt. Knees about in line with each other. Stretch through that quad. All those kickboxing movements. We're punching the arms, but those lower bodies are really working. Again, powering through from the earth into us. Through that core. All those little fibers stretching out. Woo. All right, that's enough of that one right there. <laughs> Feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart. Push yourself back, grab your elbows. Just kind of dangle side to side. Release your back. So hang, release your arms, slowly bend your knees, roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. All the way up, super deep inhale. Exhale sides, one more super deep inhale. Exhale to your heart, little bow, awesome. Thank you all so much for joining me. Um, again, I'll have some more videos. They'll be cardio, strength, core focus, all of them a little bit different um, from each other to give you guys a little bit of variety. If you really like this video, please hit like, leave a comment, let me know that you guys are working out with me. Um, and tell your friends and family about UMBC Rec. We have hundreds of free videos online to get you guys through at home when you can't make it to the gym or if things are shut down. So I'll see you guys next time. Go UMBC Retrievers. Have a great day.